What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we got a banger of a video. When you're taking a look at the pantheon of breakfast foods available, it's really hard not to include waffles near the top of that list. The classic food, it's been there for you through thick and thin. And on the other end, if we're talking about lunch, how do you not include a cheeseburger with bacon? I bet you everybody watching's had a cheeseburger before, and if you haven't, you're probably a communist. But that's besides the point. We can all agree these are both amazing foods, but what happens when you can take the best of each one and combine them together like a head-on car collision. If that question's ever crossed your mind, then you're in the right place. In today's video, we'll be making an anabolic barbecue bacon cheeseburger waffle. That title might sound like a mouthful, but once you make this thing and put it in your mouth, you're gonna wanna roll it up in a tube and sword swallow it. If your girlfriend's having trouble growing facial hair and you've been wanting a food that is so anabolic, she'll take one bite and wake up the next morning with a full beard, then look no further than this video, because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. And for all my fun, high-protein, low-calorie, your recipes that are diet friendly and built to help you stay lean and build a little muscle, check out my cookbook available at the first link in the description box. Literally got everything you need, over 200 pages filled with glorious recipes. I guarantee you follow us in here. It really could change your life, I guarantee it. All right, baby, if you guys are ready to get epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Let's get this show started. First thing we need, food scale and a mixing bowl. Trying to do any of these recipes without a food scale is kind of like trying to go to New York without the shot. You ain't gonna get much done. We're gonna begin with a stupid simple protein waffle recipe. We measure out 46 grams of egg whites or egg beaters in a mixing bowl. We follow that up with 26 grams of extra light and fluffy complete Hunger Jack pancake and waffle mix. Wash that scale, weigh it right out. Now we need 16 grams of a vanilla based whey protein powder. And as always, I'm using that final boss. Seeing me with final boss is like seeing a baboon with a red ass. It's just genetics. And then last but not least, we need 85 grams of plain fat-free Greek yogurt. Now that we got these all in here, we're just gonna go in with our spoon, mix everything together until we're left with a creamy and thick batter. And would you look at that? Nice and creamy. Now, what we're gonna do is take our mini waffle maker, hit it with a little bit of nonstick, and spoon our batter right onto the griddle. And keep in mind, if you follow my measurements exactly. This should literally be the perfect amount of batter for this waffle maker with no waste. Once we got it filled up, we'll just close the waffle maker and let it cook for roughly two to three minutes. And boom, baby. Check out that beautiful waffle. Now all I'm gonna do is place it on an oven safe dish and we're gonna let it chill here while we get the toppings ready. Now for our toppings, what I have here is 28 grams of 96% lean ground beef and one slice of turkey bacon, which is 14 grams. What I I want to do is first start by chopping this turkey bacon up into smaller pieces. So all I'm going to do is go in and slowly start slicing this piece of turkey bacon up. And then once I got it chopped up into smaller pieces like so, what we're going to do is preheat a skillet to medium heat, hit it with nonstick, and then toss our turkey bacon down in and let it fry for a few minutes before adding the beef. Then once we got that bacon crisped up a bit, we're going to add in our ground beef. It's going to go in and break it up. And now I'm just going to fry this up until the ground beef is brown. And then right when it's finished, I'm I'm gonna take some sugar-free barbecue sauce, G Hughes, and I'm gonna place about 30 grams down in here. Then give everything one final mix and fry. And then once our barbecue bacon topping is done, we're just gonna spread it on top of our waffle. And I really like to go in, spread it out by hand, and make sure we have even coverage all over. And now that we got the barbecue bacon topping, last thing I'm gonna do is take 28 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese and sprinkle it on top of the barbecue bacon. Once again on this, I'm looking for even coverage. You want to be able to taste every flavor in every single bite. And that looks perfect. Now this is ready to go in the oven. Now all I'm going to do is set the oven to a low broil, toss this in there and let it sit for a couple minutes until the cheese is melted. Once it's melted, you'll know you're good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in just a couple minutes, I will be back with some legendary goodness. Let's go. Oh man, look at that melted cheese, look at the bacon, look at the beef, this thing is almost ready. The last finishing touch, add a little color pop and some flavor, is to just spread a few grams of green onions right on top. And boom, that looks perfect.
Ladies and gentlemen, look what we've created. We got the melted cheese, the crispy bacon, the beef, the green onions, all infused with a barbecue flavor resting on top of a fluffy protein waffle. I know some of y'all didn't think we'd be able to achieve this level of excellence here, but honestly, that's what I live for, baby. Exceeding expectations and making foods that look like they should be three million calories fit right into our diet. Do me a big favor, smash that thumbs up button for me, comment down below what type of recipe you wanna see me make, subscribe if you are not subscribed, and guys, before this gets cold, I think it's time to give it a try. Let's go. All right, man, before we dive into this, I got a couple quick announcements. First one, we are down to our final boxes of PB&J and the Cinnamon Anna Bars. If you love these ones, you might wanna place an order. Finalboxformance.com, could RGF 10, you already know. Because once these are gone, they're not gonna be back in this form ever. It's the last we're gonna have. So that, and then Final Boss Athletics, our apparel company, on the 15th of this month, we're gonna be doing a massive blowout sale. So everything is gonna be half off. So mark your calendar, finalbossathletics.com. You can use code RGF10, it'll save you 10%, and you're gonna get that half off discount. It's gonna be a massive sale, man. So mark your calendars for that. Anyways, let's dive into this, shall we? Oh my goodness. Let's get a bite here. A little bit of waffle, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of beef. Let's get everything. Right here, baby. Check me out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let go. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, folks, how do you picture a cheeseburger waffle tasting? Envision it in your head? This is exactly where your imagination took you. The cheese, the beef, the bacon on top of a fluffy waffle. For a recipe like this, you don't use maple syrup. You just use more sugar-free barbecue sauce. There we go. You hear it? Oh, no, that is the money shot. Oh, boy. Can't even begin to describe how well these two things go together. It's unique, but it's delicious. And the best part is, I'll tell you the macros, you're going to be mind blown. Now, in this entire cheeseburger waffle, you can make it exactly how I did. It, what you end up with for the entire thing is only 366 calories, six grams of fat, 50 grams of protein, 28 grams of carbs, zero grams of fiber. 366 calories, 50 grams of protein. That's about perfect for a meal right here. Get a little bit of everything. Get the meat, get a little bit of greens. I mean, I know you see that. Getting 50 grams of protein. I mean, come on, man. It's a no-brainer. We're gonna do a little experiment. For giggles, I'm gonna throw on some sugar-free maple syrup and see how it is. And drizzle that right on there. I mean, this could be really bad or it could be really good. What's the over under on this, huh? All right, here we go. I'm gonna be real with you. I think it's better with the maple. I'm literally not kidding. Mm, try this with the maple syrup. I didn't even think about it, but a lot of times when I'm eating a breakfast and I might have like bacon and sausage on the same plate as the waffles and it kind of bleeds into it anyways, that, that was never a problem. So why would this be a problem? Holy cow, I'm just now figuring this out. Scratch the barbecue sauce, use the maple syrup. You'll thank me later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final bite. Oh, I'm dripping, let's go. Mm, I'm going to level with you. The cheeseburger waffle by itself was a strong eight or nine on the flavor department. But as soon as we added the maple syrup, it became a no-brainer 10 out of 10. You got to make this one. You got to tag me on the gram and let me know what you think. I know you're going to love it. You already know if you got my cookbook, link down below in the description box. It has been updated. This recipe is now in there. Go get your updated copy. You're going to love this recipe. And for those of you that don't have it yet, understand that if you get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. So when a video like this drops, you're not missing out. The cookbook gets updated at no additional cost. Appreciate you guys as always. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment down below what type of videos you want to see me make. Hit that subscription button. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Bam, bam. We out of here, baby. Oh my goodness. I don't let that syrup go to waste. Mm.